Hi, and welcome. I'm super excited to share a newer update into Chrome that allows you to translate live captions. So if you know me and know me very well, you know captions are something that are super important to me and I always wanna make sure that my staff and my students have access to them. And a few years ago, Chrome added this feature where you could turn on live captions for basically any audio or video that's playing on your device as long as you're in Google Chrome. So what that means is that if I am watching a video like I am right now or listening to something on my device, there's a little captions bar that pops up at the bottom of my screen and shows captions as I go. Obviously, if you watch a video on YouTube, captions are there automatically, but this is really helpful if you are on a website where captions are not readily available, it gives you that additional option of accessibility. It's really nice if maybe you are in a meeting or something and you need to watch a quick video. I know sometimes I am looking to answering questions in a meeting or I need a tech tip or something and I need to pull up the video, but I can't be listening to it or I don't have headphones. I pull this up so I can see the information and follow along in that way. But captions are also just really great for our students because some of them might be seated far back in the room. Maybe they can't see the video very well or hear the video very well from where they're seated in your classroom. It's also a nice option for our students to be able to have that if they need another form of representation. So some of our students who are deaf or hard of hearing, our multilingual learners, our English language learners need to see captions in different levels. And then if you have a student who's an EL, the new feature allows you to translate those live captions if they want. So this is something that you can show them. I would recommend that you do that for your level, level ones, especially your newcomers, but also just something that I would turn on in your device so you have that and can model that for students. So it's very easy to do. First thing I'm going to do is I have this little video pulled up here to show you how it works. Um, but when I have these turned on, this is what it looks like. Ooh, I closed out of it, so I have to do it over again. But it pops up at the bottom of my screen. And we just need to go into our settings in Chrome to toggle this on. So if I go back down here, it pops up as a window on my device. And I can change the size of this. Like I don't have to keep it as it is. So see, I have this little window that pops up, all right? I can make this smaller, move it around my screen if I need to. So that's what that looks like. If I go into Chrome, what I'm gonna do here is open Chrome and then I'm gonna click the three dot function menu in the top right corner. And when I do that, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to my settings menu. So when I open my settings menu, this is where I can turn on those captions as well as the option to have them translated. So I can search for accessibility in this top toolbar if you're really speedy and like to do that. Other options, if I scroll on this left toolbar, accessibility will show up. So when I do that, I have to toggle on live captions. I already have that turned on, as you can see from my example. But if I wanted to turn on the live translate, I'll just click on live translate and then I can select my other language here. So if I go back to this Edpuzzle video, we're gonna watch this over again. So that's all I had to do and it's turned on. I can always go back, follow these steps again to change it if I need to. But if I scroll back down to where that video was, now I should see my live video captions here because this video does not have captions. This little audio bit doesn't. But if I play it, now they should be in Spanish. So there we go, now I have them in Spanish. And if I need to go back and change those, there's lots of different languages here. As Soon as I toggle it on, I can select those different choices. So just a really good option to show your students and even to model for them. Um, and just something nice to have for your own personal use. So I do have a written guide for this. I'm gonna put in the notes on YouTube. It's a printable if you like to use that. And let me know if you have additional questions.